So we are here at the very first Asian Media Awards held in Deansgate, Manchester. We've come all the way from London to just check out these upcoming buddies that are winning these finalist awards. We have some absolute gems to show you today. We have Deer from Coronation Street. Some glamorous women wearing some beautiful dresses. I can yeah. see one walking past us now. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got lots more to show you on not the red carpet, but the but blue, blue carpet. carpet. So we'll catch you in a bit. The aim of the Asian Media Awards is to recognise the strength and depth and diversity in the media industry. Why do you think it's important to attend events like these, especially this being the very first? It is important for us as a city, uh, Manchester. We are the capital of Europe at the moment, we're claiming ourselves. Yeah. It's the most diverse uh, city. It's a, such a I mean, multicultural and supporting city. Yeah. The Asian media's contribution is amazing. I yeah. mean, uh, and we acknowledge this. Uh, and that's why it's important to have the Asian media as an event in the city. Now, obviously, there's going to be various acts that are going to be here today. People from TV, Coronation Street, I'm not sure if you watch it. And obviously, the media industry as well. I mean, who is your number one choice that you're looking forward and seeing today who could possibly win? Well, first one is from Citizen Hans Abdullah because he's ah. my own local hero. Ah. He's from my own board, he's my constituent. Yeah. Uh, he will be around here. Good to see that he's doing very well in their life. Yeah. How does it feel to be part of this wonderful, prestigious event? It feels fantastic, you know, it's great. I mean, you know, it's, uh, last time I was in a room full of all these brown people was probably at a <laughs> wedding, so it's, uh, it's great. So what yeah. can we expect from you from the future in the next series? Uh, well, we're waiting, still waiting to hear whether we get a third series, fingers crossed. But, you know, I, I really hope we do because, uh, you know, Shazi and Umjad haven't been married yet. So we've, oh, got, yeah. we've got a bit of a plan and an idea of what we want to do with that. So, you know, more of, more of the same, really. And I really enjoyed this series with being a bit more physical with Mr. Khan, you know, doing really silly things. And <laughs> hopefully we'll get the more of that. No, <laughs> throat thing. Yeah, that always, always goes down well. It's taken so long for them to just make an award ceremony like this. I mean, why is it so vital and important to be recognised? Like this, especially in the Asian industries. I think, I think more than anything, it's um, rather than the recognition that you get, you know, yourselves amongst your peers. Yeah. I think it's more about sort of networking, meeting other people yeah. um, in the industry. We can give you lots of words of wisdom, words of advice, and um, what better place than someone like here? Because there are people out here who've got years and years of experience, um, and for someone like me who's kind of relatively new to the industry, yeah. it's fantastic. I'm really looking forward to getting their advice. Obviously, you're being nominated today for all those people who are out there and want your job. What would you say to those reporters out there who would also be vying to become a nominate, nominated individual or perhaps the winner? Uh, well, fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> hopefully, uh, well, I think you can um, just stay in there, get as much experience as you can. I started out um, doing kind of researching in the local paper yeah. and then moved into local radio and then onto TV. So just get as much experience as you can, doesn't matter what it is, even if you have to work long hours for nothing, do it and just get in there. How does it feel to be part of this today? Uh, it's really exciting. It's uh, been a long time coming in terms of an awards for the media industry as a whole. Um, and uh, we're quite nervous actually. <laughs> Really it's like we're going to go, are we going to win, aren't we? Yeah. So obviously being nominated is a very nerve-wracking thing because we've always done awards for other people yeah. and suddenly we're, the, it's uh, the other way around. So I see, yeah. Quite on, on this side of the, uh, of the fence really because yeah. you know, I'm normally out there controlling the media and stuff and yeah. Saying, yeah. you can't do this to you here, no, no, you won't get done. And now I'm like, oh, where do I stand? Yeah. It was, really weird. Yeah, it, it, was quite it was quite strange having an hour to actually get ready today. Normally yeah. it's like in the bathroom. So who are you most looking forward to seeing up on the stage today, apart from obviously yourselves? Oh no, no I, I'm just looking forward to seeing a lot of old friends. I mean, we've been around the industry now for close to 25 years really. And lots of vice presidents of TV channels and things like that. Um, and then lots of new people who have recently been kind of calling us and saying, can we get some experience within your company and stuff, and some of them are here today. So it's just nice. Overall, old friends, yeah. industry people, and just have a really good time. Actually, it's one of those ones that it's not based on any kind of meritocracy. Mm -hmm. You could work for, be great in one job, and not work again for yeah. whatever. Yeah. I just persevere, and especially being Asian, I think it's hard because you know the Asian community doesn't really sort of see. It's like children no, yeah, you should be a doctor, be, or a lawyer. Yeah, doctor and doctors, yeah, lawyers, yeah. I mean, my children, I never say be an actor, I say be a doctor or be a lawyer. <laughs> what do you do? Be a journalist. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you decide to do, do it well. So we are here with the beautiful, glamorous Camila, who's been in this industry for more than 50 years. How did it feel to be part of this prestigious event? Oh, 
I'm honoured, yeah. basically, and I intend to enjoy myself. Yes. And it'd be lovely to see everyone. Obviously, there are a lot of young people out there who want to get into the industry and potentially be in the industry for an, an many amounts of years. What kind of advice would you give them? What have you done? To I, keep I going? fell into it, and I think the, the, the way I've always felt that I, I never want to get a job unless. The person giving me the job thinks that I can do it and I'm worth employing. Yeah. How are you so finding welcome. it so far? Lovely, it's really nice. I just got here, so um, yeah, it's really, really nice. Okay. I'm enjoying it. And how does it feel to be obviously nominated for such um, a prestigious event? It's amazing. the very first one. And it's my first um, ever nomination anyway, so it's really, really nice, especially to be in the Asian Media Awards because you don't really, yeah. I don't really see the behind scenes of stuff, so it's nice to be recognised. It's really, really nice. So obviously you've been nominated for best character. Tell us a bit about yourself and your character. What's the, what's the best thing about her? <laughs> she's very sarcastic. She's very, um, I say she's socially inept in a way. Um, she's absolutely crazy. She's very vulnerable. Doesn't, you know, she doesn't know, she doesn't feel like she fits in. But that's so much fun to play because I get to have so much fun with her. Like she's mental. Talking of mouths, what is weird talent? I can sing my phone number to the tune of God Save the Queen. Oh two oh seven nine four six oh one two four. That is my number. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. So, what can we expect from you in the future? Hopefully, films, more TV credits. Hollywood, um, maybe. Hollywood. Mm. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I mean, I've always done Hollywood. I've always. I say go for Hollywood and get some, you know. Asian That's where I'm Hollywood. heading. Yeah, that's where I'm heading. Like my yeah, my age. Right. We're, we're going out in this year um, to. Representation. Oh, so it should be interesting. Yeah. Hello, my name is Jedward. <laughs> it's Nepal from BBC Asia Network. And it's Yasser. BBC Asia Network as well. He's the new DJ. He's modelling our bags. What do you mean your bags? <laughs> it's our bags. What are you Sorry. talking about? They look it's very, the 21st oh, century. They look very, this is, very this light. is what we're doing very now. Nice. I know, we're doing bag yeah. line now. Forget wallets. Yeah. What so about, about the bags? Line. So, guys, what brings you to this event today? Changing the face of men's fashion. Oh, oh okay. With, mm. with a clutch and a and kind a, of and a bag. quilted bag. And the new blue wristbands as well. Yeah. And you're a finalist. Tell yeah. us how you feel about that. Uh, it's nice, isn't it? I got two nominations, weirdly enough, uh, so which is uh, which is good. Yeah. So I'm uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. That'd be really nice. Nice. Uh, yeah. I'll give one. So obviously, it's, one it's, being, it's being the very first. Asian Media Awards. Mm. How does it feel to be part of this event? It's amazing. Um, I had the free food, free champagne and stuff, so that's great <laughs> that you've hooked that up. But no, I think I'm going to copy what he said earlier on. It is very well organised, like when you come down here, nice blue carpet. So you being a newcomer, obviously, coming to this very first event, how does it feel to be obviously recognised? Really, really good um, because I'm very lucky that I'm in such a scene where things are recognised quite often like this. This is like my third award ceremony, been at the Asian Network for a year now. Yeah. Plus, it's so cool to actually see people I used to see on TV all the time. Uh, and are you learning from the one and only the Hull, or do you think that you are teaching him some new tricks? No, you know what? He has so much wealth. This this area here, <laughs> and the wealth bag. of knowledge <laughs> in this area is just incredible. He really likes your bag. <laughs> You're holding on to it for You're really clutching on it. Like really. It's a clutch, right? Is it? Yeah. That's, that's it, the they, call they call it a clutch. I never so, knew So, lastly, that. guys, women, um, can you please. <laughs> Tell our wonderful Stop. audience what we could expect from you next. <laughs> um, well, we'll probably give you your bags back and go in. Okay. All right, wicked. But after that, we'll probably carry on Bobby Friction. Bobby, Bobby yes, you just sir. walked through. Come through. Yeah. No, 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 I'm walking past. Don't oh. even look this way. Oh, okay. Carry on, carry on. I'm going to look at this. Are you going to? All right, then. Thank you. No,